Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. That, my friends, is the intro to a beautiful song about hope and love from the Five Stair Steps. Ooh Child from 1970. The guitar is tuned standard E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. The key is F major and the song modulates to A flat major. We'll start by taking a look at the chords in the intro. Our first chord will be B flat major 7, formed this way. I'm barring fret 1 with my index finger, bringing in a finger to the second fret on the G string, to the third fret on the D string, and the third fret on the B string, strumming from the A string. We'll play an A minor 7 like this. Now what I'm doing there is holding down my low E string at fret 5 and I'm muting the A string and barring everything from the D string down at fret 5. Now that's the way I like to play that chord but an easy version of that would be just barring from the D string down like that. We'll also need a G minor 7 and it'll be played the same way and we can do the easy version of it this way. So we can play the B flat major 7, A minor 7, and G minor 7 this way if you're able to or we can play B flat major 7, A minor 7, and G minor 7 the easy way. We'll also need a C knife suspended 4 and we'll play it by barring everything from the A string down at fret 3. So here's our intro. B flat major 7, A minor 7, G minor 7, C ninth suspended 4, B flat major 7, and a short riff like this. We're playing that by going to the G string at fret 5 and the B string at fret 6. Sliding up two frets and then coming back. So, so that's Then we'll do a chord breakdown like this. For that we'll be playing a B flat chord, A minor, G minor, and then our key chord, F. In order to play our B flat chord, we've got an F form up here at fret 6. I'm holding down the B string and high E string at fret 6, the uh, G string at fret 7, and the D string at fret 8. For the A minor, I'm going to bar fret 5 from D string down, bring in a finger to the 7th fret on the D string, and move that chord down by 2 frets for my G minor, and do my F form down here, the same form that we used for B flat. So that's and now we're ready to start our song.
Now, if you think you might have trouble playing that chord breakdown, you can simply play it this way. That's by using notes on the G string at fret 3, fret 2, and then the open string, and then an F chord. So it would sound like this. And that would be a whole lot easier. During the intro, guitar 2 will play this. I'm on the high E string, and I'm going to fret 8. I'm going to play it and slide up to fret 10. Then go to fret 8, fret 6, and fret 5. Now for the verses, we're going to basically play what we played for the intro. We'll play B flat major 7, A minor 7, G minor 7, C knife suspended 4, and repeat it. During verse 1, guitar 2 will do some picking that sounds like this. Now what I'm doing is holding my palm up against the bridge of the guitar and muting out the strings so I get this sound. This is an open sound. If I put my palm against the bridge, it's going to sound like this. Right? So I'm starting here at fret 8, down up down, fret 7, fret 5, and fret 5 on the G string. Start it on the D string. We'll do that a couple of times. Now we're ready for our modulation. In order to modulate to the new key, we're going to go to fret 4, bar it, and I'm going to play the D string and the B string and do this. So I'm plucking those two strings and I'm playing. Now that we're into the modulation, the new chords will be played with the same forms that we used for the verse chords. But we'll play D flat major 7, C minor 7, B flat minor 7, and E flat ninth suspended 4. We'll play that part this way. And when we get ready to go back to our original key, we'll go down to fret 1 and do our double stop like this. And then we'll start over. So we'll go.
during the modulation, guitar two will do a riff that sounds like this. In order to play that, we'll take the ring finger to fret eight on the D string, we'll strike the string, bend it up, and then release it back down to pitch like this. We'll take the index finger and go to fret six on the D string, and then we'll take that finger back up to fret eight, strike it and slide it back down to fret six like this. And then we'll land on fret eight of the A string. So here it is. We'll go up an octave, taking it up to the 15th fret on the G string and we'll play the same thing. For most of the song, everything is repeated, but when we get to the end, we'll need to add some new chords. One will be a bar C, played this way. I'm holding down the A string at fret 3 and barring everything from the D string down on fret 5, not playing the high E string. We'll need an F major 9 played this way. For that one, I'm holding down the A string at fret 8, the D string at fret 7, the G string at fret 9, and the B string at fret 8. And I just need those strings. We'll need a C knife suspended chord played this way. Now we can also just play a B flat chord for that one for an easy substitute. For that C ninth suspended chord, I'm holding down a B flat chord, F form, that I played before, and I'm just placing a bass note in there at fret 8 on the low E string. The A string is muted. Here's how we'll play the ending chords. We'll play B flat and major 7, A minor 7, G minor 7, C knife suspended 4, go back to B flat and major 7, A minor 7, G minor 7, C, F major 9. C knife suspended. F major 9. C knife suspended. do a little riff that goes like this. And then back to our C knife suspended four. For the double stops, I'm playing this. I'm going up to fret 14 and 15 on the G and B string respectively. And then I'm going to play that and slide down to 12 and 13. Then I'll do an up down strum and then I'll move to fret 10 on the G and B string 
and do another up down strum so that's then I'll go back down to my C ninth suspended chord for the strumming on the F major 9 to the C ninth suspended is Well, my friends, that's how I play Ooh Child by the Five Stair Steps on electric guitar. And don't forget, someday we'll walk in the rays of a beautiful sun. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.